good YouTube, Chad with another rip. Today we have Topps Chrome Basketball. Not lying, we have Topps Chrome Basketball, uh, but it's not anything professional, it's not the NBA. Uh, it is OTE, which apparently stands for Overtime Elite. Never heard of it before until I picked this box up and did some research. Uh, what they are, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, they are a, a league that promotes up and coming young high school ballers in the ages, in the ages of 16 to 20. Uh, and I believe they promote them through social media. So um, this is another way of getting some exposure for some of the up and coming stars. They are in high school. Some of them may be in college, uh, but instead of doing the traditional route of going to college and getting scouted, they go to these leagues and um, yeah, sounds like a kind of a cool idea. Cool enough that it's become a Topps Chrome set. So uh, I caught a restock at Walmart and uh, one of the guys there told me to go ahead and try this. I was gonna pass on it, uh, but I, I gotta admit my curiosity was piqued. I do not know who is in this. I have no knowledge of social media of basketball um, other than Cash Nasty, and Chris White, and Gio, all those guys. Um, but these guys are future stars, and this is one blaster. I spent $19.99 on this, so it's a regular price blaster. Uh, you get, uh, you get, oh well, you get two exclusive Ray Wave refractors, and where is it? I saw the, here we go. Seven packs per box, four cards per pack. So 28 cards per box. So I'm gonna rip right open, rip this, uh, rip into this, and, um, as always, at the end, I'm gonna give my assessment. Is this a rip or a skip? And uh, I wanna say that I have never been as, I wanna say, blind going into this. I have no preconceived notions or ideas, no biases regarding this product because I know absolutely nothing about it. So my rip or skip at the end is gonna be an impartial one. So here we go. Tops, Tops Chrome. Tops Chrome basketball. Kind of exciting. Here we go. I could hit a pretty big name and not even know it. Um, and uh, if if I hit a pretty big name and I need to be excited about it, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below. Oh, there you go, Topps Chrome. I'm excited for when Topps starts printing basketball again. If I'm not mistaken, it's gonna happen with the, uh, uh, what's that called? Fanatics Takeover. So. Okay, here's one of the uh, old school parallels. 1952, I believe. Look at that, super plain, super old school there. Uh, and it's a silver, or a refractor. A Malik Bowman and Jalen Martin. So, they all have the same, they all have the same jersey, so. They're all gonna look the same. Let's hit a, let's hit a super refractor, how about that? Is that too much to ask? Oh! Almost fumbled them. Okay, this one looks like a bunch of base cards in here. Eamon Thompson, Bryce Griggs, Bryson Warren, Dominique Barlow. So this is gonna be a 100 card set. That one's a refractor there. But I like the idea of this leaf. Last year was their inaugural year and uh, it seems like they were pretty successful and uh, social media is a great way to get some exposure. And if they can use, if this generation can use it to their benefit to get into the league, then why not? Oh, something shiny here. I believe this is the Ray Wave of Ryan Bewley. 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 That's cool. Future problems. <laughs> Future problems. I like this card. A or B Warren and then a Bryce Griggs. This one's a refractor. This is cool. Future problems. Point guard. And he's only 16. Imagine that being 16 years old and having uh, my top loaders and stuff. Being 16 years old and, and getting a card. Getting yourself on a card. Oh, off center. Ryan Bruley. So my take is that these are the equivalent uh, to 
Bowman firsts, but for basketball. I know Bowman firsts are all prospects and you're kind of, you know, there's a lot of speculation and you, you hold on to these cards expecting or hoping um, that they're gonna ball out. Here's another one of these 1952 retros. They are both refractors. I wonder if they're all refractors. That's a big boy. But yeah, these are similar to, I guess the, uh, Cock Yat, I heard this name. I think this is one of the guys that, one of the, the homie who told me to pick this up mentioned. Cock Yat. What was I saying? Yeah, these are the Bowman first equivalent to basketball because these are all prospects. Uh, and um, top recruits, probably gonna end up in the league. And uh, if you can get your hands on one of these early on, it could be worth something if they become the next LeBron James. Two door. Somak, Somakescu, Somakescu, something. And Aizan Almansa. How old is this kid? Doesn't say. Hmm. But these guys are 16 to 20. These guys, these guys look older than I am and I'm twice their age. That's crazy. Super fact, oh, here's the Ray Wave. Jalen Martin, Ryan Bewley again. Ray Wave of Jazir Jackson, that's a big boy. And another a levitate of Aswar Thompson. This is a very nice card. These are super nice. Tyler Smith. Let's look at this. I feel like I need to go and uh, sleeve all of them. So you never know. It's like you're sleeving all of your Bowman firsts. This is nice. If I'm not mistaken, these kids are getting paid too. So they're making bank while balling, getting exposure. If I were them, I would probably want to take that route and not the traditional um, college route. But here we go. Jazir Jackson, a TJ Clark shooting guard. Bryce Griggs, that name sounds pretty familiar. I wonder if that's a, a banger. And uh, John Ed Walker. John Ed Walker. Wow, so that's gonna be it. Yeah, and I don't know if I hit any bangers. We did not hit any numbered cards, at least from my understanding. Um, Probably one of, I mean, if it's just based on the look of the card, that, that's pretty cool. Some Ray Waves, all rookie cards. A couple of refractors in here. Two Ray Waves. A Future Problems, also a very nice insert. Man, this is a nice insert. I'm gonna sleeve it up now. Future Problems, I like that. Future Stars, and this one's Future Problem. Malik Brown, John Montero, another name that I kind of recognize. I read up on this a little bit, did some research. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it. And as I sleeve up all these cards, let me know what you guys think about this product. Um, I am impressed to say, to my surprise, I'm pretty impressed with this. I was not expecting it. I mean, Topps Chrome is just, it's just a nice, clean, beautiful product. But when I think about how these, I kind of like the Bowman firsts. I think about the potential long-term holds. It's kind of exciting. And uh, you get a good amount of refractors in here. Nice inserts. They're all rookie cards, rookie cards. And so with that being said, my assessment on this, it's gonna be a rip. If you see these on the shelves at $20, I say go ahead and pick yourself up a blaster. Don't go too crazy. Don't go sweeping the shelves. I also wouldn't say uh, to go hunting, you know, to go chasing for, you know, the big hitter. But grab yourself a blaster, rip it, and see what you get. Maybe you hit some numbered cards. Maybe you uh, hit a super factor. Probably not, but uh, go ahead and rip it, stash it. Who knows, maybe in five, six years, you got yourself a pretty high value card. So this is a rip. Go ahead, pick one up. And that's going to be it, guys. If you like what you see, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, till the next one, stay blessed.